Hi Lana, uh, we want to take a look at some of the requirements that you are needed to have, uh, especially when you want to study computer science here in Kenya. Now, there are quite a number of um, uh, requirements for this particular course, because this is one of the most uh, marketable uh, courses as far as uh, computer courses is concerned. And of course, uh, since it is very marketable, most people or most students are really seeking to understand what are some of the requirements uh, they need to have or achieve so that uh, at least they can be able to enroll for this particular uh, course. So first we need to understand uh, maybe what is computer uh, science, right? Uh, once you have understood what computer science is, then you can be able to look at the various uh, requirements that is needed for this particular uh, course, right? So ideally also we're going to look at maybe some career options that you're likely to pursue after you have uh, earned this particular uh, course. So in a nutshell, uh, computer science is a degree that deals with theoretical foundations of information and computations that approaches various scientific and practicals, right? Uh, of course, we can also define computation as any type of calculations that uses computing technology that follows well-defined models. So we are going to look at maybe the key ingredients. Uh, for example, when you're enrolling for a particular or within a particular uh, university, uh, which are those particular requirements that are required? And you're going to maybe look at also uh, the units that this particular uh, course comprises of. So uh, ideally, that is what computer science is, right? Then if you want to pursue this particular course, also you need to have an understanding of this essential uh, 10 skills, right? Uh, first, you need to have some specialist knowledge of computer science theories, uh, methods, and practices. Uh, then also you need to understand a range of programming languages. So I'll really recommend that you learn at least three or four and above languages, because these are the key uh, languages that is going to help you uh, understand how you can be able to be a good computer scientist. Uh, also, you need to understand the various computing architectures, how to design, uh, do some constructions and engineering, right? When you it comes to algorithms and data structures, right? Uh, better still, I'm going to mention some key specializations, right, that you need to have or need to understand. You also need to understand computing softwares, uh, various essential tools, uh, packages, and design. You also need to have wide understanding of a range of computer-based systems. So ideally, when you are doing this particular course, it gives you some kind of holistic skills uh, that you need to uh, have. You also need to have or become aware of the ability to cope and adapt to various uh, changes within uh, this particular course itself and, of course, within your work environment. You should be excellent in maths. Uh, here you are going to work with a lot of figures, right, because of the algorithms and data structures that you need to understand. You also need to have good foundation in physics. So if you are listening to this video and you are like, I'm not good in physics, then this is not a course for you, right? You also need to have the ability to understand complex numerical data, right, especially when you are doing or handling some kind of data science uh, related uh, units. Uh, of course, uh, lastly, uh, on our top key computer science skills, you need to have uh, proper analytical and critical thinking skills. Uh, you need to have uh, some skills that allow enables you to analyze some situation, to act upon uh, some required outcome and processes, right? So those are uh, some essential science, uh, computer science skills that you need to arm yourself uh, with. So let's look at the key uh, reason as to why we need to uh, do this particular uh, computer science course, because without these requirements, then you can't be able to uh, do it. So we are going to look at some of the top uh, universities here in Kenya that offers this particular computer science course, and ideally, the various entry requirements from this particular uh, university. So let's uh, look at this particular university. But before that, if you're joining us for the very first time, uh, kindly uh, take a second or two uh, to become part of this particular 
uh, community. Right. So as you can see, I've opened our website and I've already, I, I actually did write a very interesting article about the top five best universities to study computer science in Kenya. So if you are interested, uh, you can just proceed to this particular website and have a look at the best uh, computer science uh, universities. There are not really many. So again, you need to look at uh, the best accredited uh, universities that offers this particular uh, course. So I just narrow down to, uh, to actually four of them, uh, which offers this particular uh, course. So you can always check. So number one is actually uh, University of Nairobi, right? I won't really mention them in any given order. You can even start with uh, uh, JQuart. In fact, let's look at JQuart, right? So as you can see, JQuart here are uh, the key requirements, right? The key requirements here, KCSE mean grade of A plane, so they're a bit higher, and an average grade of A minus in maths, physics, and chemistry, right? So at least you have understanding of what JQuart requirements are. Now, you can see the units that uh, you are going to, uh, to go through uh, in each and every semester. So you can see maths is involved, uh, discrete maths, calculus, uh, computer organization, programming. So these are things that we looked at. And that's why it's very important to have the right uh, computer science skills. Uh, there's no need of starting a course that you're going to uh, really stop doing in the middle of the way. So uh, just maybe have a sneak preview of what is expected of you. You can see vector analysis, probability and statistics, design and analysis, right? So that is JQuart, yeah? So it takes four years, right? Uh, let's have a look at uh, the other best university that offers this uh, uh, lucrative course that is uh, uh, from Maseno University. And the requirements from Maseno University, as you can see, you need to have a KCSE, mean grade of a C plus, right? Uh, with at least C plus in maths or physics and other uh, conditions that needs to be met, right? So they also offer accredited diploma in computer science. If you have that, you can always do the degree. So per semester, uh, this is what they offer, more related to the JQuart one. I can see ob object-oriented uh, programming, algebra, calculus, right, uh, databases, uh, digital electronics, you can see that there. So there are a lot of mathematics and programming that is involved, right? You can also have some understanding of software uh, projects, right? So ideally, also, this one takes four years. Uh, before you graduate. Uh, let's have a look at um, uh, University of Nairobi. Uh, this is also one of the best universities that offers computer science uh, course, but we just want to focus uh, on the requirements. Uh, that's why we are here. So let's check admission requirements. So University of Nairobi, you need to have KCSE uh, mean grade of C+, and any cluster subjects in you should uh, be uh, good in maths, physics, right? So that is uh, University of Nairobi. It also they also give priority or they give consideration to those who have pursued a diploma in computer studies from the university, right? Let's look at uh, uh, maybe the structure here. Not really overview. Let's see what they offer here. Uh, so I think that is all. Right. So you can always check with the University of Nairobi. Yeah, this is what I was looking for actually. So uh, these are the units that you are going to take, undertake. You can see discrete maths, <laughs> programming. They're just similar, right? Databases linear algebra, object-oriented programming, right, software engineering. So they're more or less the same across the universities, but uh, mostly for University of Nairobi, there are quite a number of compulsory units that you'll have to undertake. Also, you can see the programming project there, 
distributed system. I like the packages from University of Nairobi. That's why I think it always uh, rank top. So the units are really well uh, composed or structured. Uh, the tech or the uh, computer science degree takes uh, again four years, right? Yeah, so it takes four years with some projects. All right. Uh, lastly, from the universities, you can look at Strathmore, which also offers. Uh, it also offers uh, the best uh, computer science course. So once you are uh, within the website, you can just proceed to. Okay, let's look at the brochure so that we look at the requirements because we are focusing on the requirements. So we have uh, looked at uh, four universities and maybe you can make some informed decision. Right, so within the brochure here of computing, okay, uh, let's see what they have. Okay, here are the entry requirements. Don't know whether you can be able to see. Let me just, okay, here we go. So here are the requirements for computer science. Applicants must meet the following requirements. So you have to have a mean grade of B. Well, uh, with some kind of uh, credits, right? And all candidates are also required to have sat for some entrance exam in English, maths, and oral interviews are done every uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, right? So those are some of the requirements. So ladies and gentlemen, I believe now if you want or you're interested in pursuing this particular uh, course, now you have some understanding of the requirements that are needed. So uh, let's go back and maybe uh, look at other uh, requirements or the career options that you're likely to get involved in uh, once you have done this particular uh, unit. Uh, once you've done the course, sorry. So uh, you can always have some specializations. So you have to choose amongst uh, these four. Uh, rather, I think there's one that I've omitted. We have also algorithms and data structures. It's also one of the specialization. But you also can specialize in programming language theory. So this involves looking at the design, implementation, analysis, characterization, and classification of programming uh, languages uh, based on some uh, predefined uh, features. So yes, we can borrow from the units allocated in various universities that you have looked at. Again, you can also specialize in computer graphics, which involves uh, use of computer to create a moving of dimensional images uh, using some specialized graphics hardware and, and software. So you'll have some kind of hands-on experience in matters computer graphics. You can also specialize in human computer interface, HCI. So this one allows you to do some kind of comp useful computations, right? So in order to uh, prevent unexpected pro problems caused by poorly designed computer machine interfaces. When we talk about uh, computer ergonomics, right? So you're going to design hardware and software that actually can be used with humans, right? Uh, factor factoring in the environment where these particular systems are used, the health hazards, right, and so on. Then you can also specialize in artificial intelligence. This is what uh, the current uh, systems are using, right? So AI uh, requires a lot of understanding of various uh, problem solving, decision making, uh, ad adaptation. So you can always uh, ensure that you get to understand how AI can improve uh, the already uh, business processes that are running within the organizations and so on. So these are just to name a few, uh, some of the uh, specializations that you can get yourself in. Uh, then you can also have some career options. So once you have graduated, you can become an IT consultant. So these are person who advises in the proper planning, design, installation, and uses, uh, usage of information systems and technology, right? So that you link them with organization's vision and objective, right? 
and using the technology to eradicate or remove uh, the bottlenecks that a particular organization faces. You can also become an uh, information system, uh, system manager. Now, an IS manager is almost similar to the IT consultant, right? But they kind of perform some managerial uh, roles. So you need to become a full-time member. You see, IT consultant, you can work part-time. But for the IC, IS manager, you need to be a uh, full-time. So you need to ensure that the organization data is well secured, the staff are actually doing the kind of work they're supposed to do, and so on. Uh, you can also be a, a database administrator, right? So you'll ensure that uh, the database systems are running securely. You are responsible de of designing these database systems, ensuring that users access the right data within the database systems, ensuring that the right uh, security is implemented on this particular database uh, system. So that is the work of database administrator. Uh, you can also become a multimedia programmer, right? So you're going to be responsible for designing and creating multimedia computer products, right? Uh, actually, you're going to design a lot of uh, computer products, making sure they function, and of course, they meet the desired uh, specification. So just to name a few, uh, these are some of the career options that you're likely uh, to engage yourself in. So should you find this particular information useful as a student or someone who wants to do computer science, always don't forget uh, to subscribe. All right, thanks.